Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to those, I have to thank you for coming from all over the world to view my videos. I appreciate it so much and I have to say thank you because you need to know that I really do appreciate you coming to view my videos. Whether it's just one or it's every one, I don't care. I appreciate it. So today's news, the first article that I have, is entitled Charlie Kirk. It, <clears throat> excuse me. I have to blow this up a little more. Charlie Kirk is not wrong about birth control. Now, what interested me about this article was I, I'm from a generation where uh, we first got, we were the first ones to get the pill. And it was like a godsend because we could determine when we wanted to have our children. And everybody thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. But now, uh, information is starting to come out about these pills that is very troubling. And I asked my wife about this because she only took the pill for a very short period of time and then got off of it. And I asked her, why did you get off of it? And she said, I didn't like the way it was making me feel. So I highlighted this section because this is surprising to me, but it's also troubling. The truth is there are very real side effects of birth control talking about the pill, including increased risk of blood clots and strokes, depression, altered attraction, breakthrough bleeding, headaches, nausea, elevated blood pressure, bloating, and weight gain. All forms of hormonal contraception result in an in increased risk of breast cancer and hormonal contraceptives are classified as a group one carcinogen. I, I didn't know that. Uh, that's shocking to me. I didn't realize that they were classified as a carcinogen. That's, that's, wow. I mean, that just blew my mind. That absolutely blew my mind. So I wanted to get that information out because I don't know how many of you are aware of it. And if you're not, you should be, especially if you're still in your childbearing years and you're using contraceptives. Um, please read the labels and think carefully about what's going on with those pills in your body and think about what the alternatives are that you might consider. Now, this next article is about Germany. <clears throat> you can see the title, Germany Rebukes Nicaragua's Gaza Genocide Claims. <clears throat> it's really troubling to me the number of people who are throwing out the claim that Israel is committing genocide in, in Gaza, particularly because they, there was an attempted genocide on the Jews, and it was on a massive scale, much larger than the scale of what's going on in Gaza. Now, I highlighted a section here I wanted to read to you. Nicaragua has asked the court to order Germany to stop supplying weapons and other military aid to Israel and to reverse its decision to suspend funding to the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA. Although the case brought by Nicaragua focus on Ger focuses on Germany, it also indirectly takes aim at Israel's military campaign in Gaza. During a hearing for the South African case against Israel earlier this year, Israeli legal advisor Ty Becker told judges at the court that the country is fighting a war it did not start and did not want. The reason why I highlighted this section was because of the UNRWA, the United Nations uh, relief workers agency. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but, um, they have what can only be termed as a checkered history. And I don't know if people are aware of this, so I wanted to bring it up. Israel has claimed that UNRWA's Hamas ties put the agency's future in jeopardy. Excuse me. Israel's claims of UNRWA's Hamas ties put the agency's future in jeopardy. Israel claimed, and I, I assume they provided evidence, 
that UNRWA workers were amongst the people that attacked Israel on October 7th. If that's true, that's inexcusable. And the UN Secretary General said that. It's horrendous that that, that may have happened and they're investigating it. But UNRWA has a long history of doing things that are, you wonder what in the world are they thinking? <clears throat> the textbooks that they provide to the Palestinians include hate, anti-Semitism, and despite their pledge to remove these textbooks, they're still there in Palestine. The only thing they did was they removed them from their online documentation. So, <clears throat> you know, the, the, the Palestinian uh, health ministry is claiming that 30,000 Palestinians have died, but how can we possibly know if that's true? We know that Israel is, is going out of its way to try and avoid civilian casualties as much as they can. And we also know that the Hamas fighters are using uh, uh, civilians as human shields. And so it's inevitable that some civilians are going to die because they're being forced to stand in front of the Hamas fighters. But there's just no way we can possibly know how many people have actually died. And the thing that we have to understand is we've... Israel has got to get rid of Hamas because if they do not, they're going to be doing this again in a year, in two years, in three years, in four years. It's never going to end. So it's important that this, this uh, campaign that they're doing right now, the war that they're conducting in Gaza, is carried out to its completion and Hamas is completely destroyed. And yes, some Palestinians are going to die. That's inevitable. But we've got to get Gaza and the Palestinians to the point where they have leadership that doesn't want to destroy Israel. That's the only way that those areas can possibly coexist. That's the news for today. And as always, I pray for you. I pray that you will live an abundant life, that you will be healthy and that you will live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every single person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out. <laughs>